Von Willebrand disease is the most common inherited bleeding disorder. And basically what happens is your clotting protein, this Von Willebrand factor, doesn't work right, either because you don't make enough of it or because the protein that's there just doesn't work. The problem is, although it's very common, many physicians aren't aware of it, and many patients aren't aware that they could have a real bleeding problem. Typically, people will have mild bleeding, so things like nosebleeds, mouth bleeding, women will have heavy periods, and people can also experience easy bruising, but it can also cause problems when you have surgery because then you can have excess bleeding. So that's the reason we need guidelines to help educate people about this common bleeding problem. We have physicians and researchers from a variety of disciplines, including hematology, both pediatric and adult, but also related areas. So for example, obstetrics and gynecology, because so many of the problems in von Willebrand disease are related to women with heavy menstrual bleeding. The unique thing about these guidelines is that we also have a large number of patients. So in contrast to previous iterations of guidelines, which have been comprised mostly of physicians and scientists sitting around a room and deciding what best practice is, this is going to be an evidence-based guideline and it's gonna involve input both from scientific experts and from patient experts. It's interesting because there are some things that are clearly shared all over the world from both perspectives, and then there are areas that are clearly different. So for example, insurance, there's people coming from the US have very different experiences navigating the insurance system than the people coming from Canada and Europe. But from a patient perspective, they all have similar concerns in terms of how am I going to get treated? How can I ensure that the people treating me actually understand this disease? So there are some universal areas for consideration. I think the most important facet of these guidelines is the fact that we're going to be able to present data that has been validated by patients that this isn't just another guideline made up by physicians. This is a guideline that has been subject to a very rigorous evidence-based process, but also that it includes outcomes that are important to actual patients. I think that will improve its acceptance and that will improve what our ultimate goal is, the quality of care for people with von Willebrand disease. We're also planning on doing some patient materials, so decision-making aids for the patients, putting out an app or some other uh, educational materials for physicians. There's a lot of areas where we'd really like to get more information into. Primary care, emergency medicine. We would also like to be able to help disseminate these into the OBGYN area because again, many of these women present there first. They don't necessarily come to a hematologist first. And the beauty of working with all these different organizations is that we then have access to their networks as well. So access to both physician and provider networks as well as patient networks to help validate the information that's produced and then help disseminate it amongst their colleagues. We're feeling good about our ability to then be able to disseminate this information back worldwide. So the hope is that these new guidelines will give us a chance to disseminate the answers to the questions that we think are important, but also provide some basic education on von Willebrand disease to areas that could really use it.